Hill. <laughs> so here we are, back in the HSC. Strongest gym in the world! And the quietest gym in the world for this moment in time. So hope you guys appreciate that, that there's not a hubbub of women's voices, just this deep, oaky voice and tones. Hi guys. <laughs> Whatever that was. I'm so going to do some pressing today. Just back from Iceland yesterday, so I'm getting straight back into it. I've got a little bit of a niggle on my shoulder, so I just want to test that out, see how that goes. I hurt myself a wee bit around cage, okay, just kind of, I'm strained a wee bit, but tomorrow's a big one for me before I go partying in Zante. But I'm just going to help Luke load and be the sexy guy in the background. The hype man. <laughs> Come on, Luke, yeah, let's get with the with it. With it. The bigger the job, the bigger that. So that's it, yeah, so we'll get into it, see how it goes, do some warm-ups. I'm sure Tom will go through some of what I'm doing as we go on. He's just pressing a big job on his head. Enjoy guys, keep ringing that bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so Luke is warming up his shoulders with a normal bar because it's just 20k that log. It's straight to 90k, so even for our standard, it's a 90k log. About warming up your muscles and getting yourself loose is a wee risk of injury as well. And obviously, Luke's got that uh, niggle in his shoulder, he doesn't want to go straight into it. So, get warm up on this, and some dumbbells, get some stretching done, and then start the log. I thought, watch yourself, we better get an extension in the house. The spicy stockings are coming to move in with you. Sorry, Kelsey. <coughs> triple, triple the farts. Hey, sure, I've got chilly bed sheets. And Tom, we just got a nice wee delivery. Yes. Strength chalk, liquid chalk, magnesium chalk, Stoneman 5 to save some money on this lovely delicious chalk. Is that discount for just you or is that for Luke as well? Just me. <laughs> Great shot up to strength shot. Awesome. Very appreciated of. Because we are two of the sexiest and spiciest and strongest brothers in the world. Spicy! Oh, pain? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easy. Yeah, so it's also doing dumbbell press to mimic, mimic the handles for the low press. Obviously, you're doing one at a time, but the way he's pressing it is the way you press a low press. So I'm getting used to the movement with a 20k dumbbell. I'm doing a circle arm ones as well. It just engages your core a little bit more. Obviously, if, you, if you've got two pressing at the same time, it's fine, you've both got the same weights in one hand. If you're doing one, you've got to engage that core just to keep that body from tipping over to the side. So, What do you usually go up to in dumbbells? But all this is just light, so 20 kilos I'll just go up to. Just again, Tom says, just to get the blood kind of going. If I'm working on giant dumbbells, I'll go up to 100 kilos because that's what we've got. Let's go fat boy. Pretty impressive. Three reps. Can I see your skin shot? Chop, please, Tom. This time. <laughs> Sorry guys. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Yeah, take off the jacket, get off the ones in that hot. One thirty for three. Two minutes until half the hour. So stupid man came. <laughs> Tom thought he 
climbed the mountain. It was different, it was cool because it wasn't actually a long, this one was a bit easier to pick up and not as long in your body, so it was you breathe easier and just Seventy kilograms, three reps. You're gonna be a tight man today, bro. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I just, I just, man, the worst tight man I've ever fucking got in my life. Just shuts it on the phone. <laughs> I do not. I just sit here on my phone. I just sit here off my phone, and smile. Shuts it. See, tight man, come on. Jeez. Think fast. Think fast. Man's not hot. Up to 180. 180. Seems he's got the best tight man in the game right now. Yeah, it's also be a good indication of how the hog's feeling. <laughs> yeah, don't hit your chin when you're pressing. Dubai's got 180 kilo for reps. Always, I'm just doing it from the chest each time, which is quite hard going in your in your core as well, because you drop your back down in the chest each time. But then it saves the, when you're cleaning the log each time, it takes a lot more out of you. So, in theory, it should be maybe a little bit easier. But I sometimes prefer cleaning each rep at a heavier weight. So, you just get to drop it down off your chest, take a little breather, and back up again. So it'll be interesting a 180 kilo for rep log. That's kind of pushing on to the Arnold's weight. It is Arnold's weight. Yeah, see. It's going to be an exciting comp with, with everyone that's coming. It's, a star studded lineup and the spicy stones are going to be there. Well, we expect to see you in um, the Arnolds. Uh, possibly, possibly. Maybe next year. Yeah. Was it Australia one? Maybe. Yeah. Nice. We've got so many competitions now, giants that. Yeah. Arnolds is extremely heavy. So it batters your body. And, yeah, it depends really. If there's a big gap between calls, yeah. maybe like could get calls. But like, we got invited to Canada this year, but. Obviously that was Wembley, and like, geez, I think if we went to Canada, we would have been a tough one. Yeah. Like that would have been tough, tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the only thing with, I don't know how all the Arnolds works, but um, once you make the final Arnolds in Ohio, which is the best one, or touted as the best one, then you get paid. Then they pay for your flights and accommodation to the other ones. So unless they want really want you there, um, so I think if we were to do Arnolds Australia and Melbourne, we'd have to. Fund that trip ourselves. That's debatable for me. Australia is supposed to be a little distance away, but we'll see. We'll see how the, the so season goes next mm -hmm. year. It's play it by year, as I say. Yeah. But it'd be a cool comp to do. And again, depending on the events, might might be really suited to Tom and I. So I'm getting a chance to even see Arnold Schwarzenegger. See Arnie, yeah. Terminator. Well, it feels like I'm coming, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> anyway, one eighty for reps. Here we go. Boom. I'm get you the truck. I'm just behind the camera too, guys. I'm not disappearing anywhere. Just here. Got a haircut today. Well, he's good. I look 16, not 25 anymore, so it's cool. <laughs> I had to take ID to Zanti with me. <laughs> get your beard filmed as well. Yeah. How long are you going to be in Zanti for? Uh, I fly out. Two seconds, just let me just check the date. The 14th Wednesday, I'm back a week on Wednesday, so I'm not doing any party, I'm just. Eating, drink, 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Eating good food and drinking water. H2O. I'm going over there to train for a week in Greece with a few top strongmen, so yeah. Good. Bullshit! Comment down below and just tell me what you really think Tom's doing out in Zante. And will we see Tom make any local, or sorry, national press while well, he's out there getting himself into a compromising position? Let's hope not. How did it feel to be Luke Sightman today? <laughs> it felt really good, you know. Slapped him about and slapped his bum and then he got 180 for free. A miracle. I can do anything when I have Tom's a hype man. Yeah. It makes me feel so energised, so pumped up. I gave that smiley vibe to him. <laughs> <laughs> you need a unicorn. The HSC mascot. She has grown up with us since day one. Yeah, so that's kind of day one of the prep for the next oh, one coming. Giants Live Manchester, 7th of September. And then Scotland Strongest Man, 21st of September. And 22nd. And then? Oh, Dubai. Hey! Sorry, Dom. <laughs> Sorry, Dom, boy. 26th of October. 25th. Manchester's going to be pretty decent, I think. We've got Scotland, so it's, we're prepping for a big Mark Steadlift. That's on the Saturday at SFM, so hopefully Tom and I will be pulling something nice by then. And it's uh, nice to pull four ten ice Iceland, which was a big shock, but yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was an easy. And pull. hopefully Luke pulls four hundred plus in yeah, Scotland, because no disrespect to him, I think it'd be good to get pushed for four hundred and have two, mm -hmm. two Scots guys plus two the brothers to do four hundred plus would be good. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, in Dubai, world's ultimate strong man. That's going to be pretty epic, I think. That's going to it's be. It's getting bigger and bigger, and again, it's got the best 12 athletes you can possibly have in the planet. Big okay. like Tommy, the last event. Stones. The biggest stone run in history, so I think it starts at 100 to 200. 100 to 200. I thought you were talking about Scotland, sorry, I'm sorry. About Dubai. 100 to 200, so I don't know why the weight go up, but it's 10 stones. But that's going to be the world's longest stone run, so. Hopefully Big Tommy that'd can... Cool, that'd be cool to be part of, yeah. You can repeat what you did last year to buy the <laughs> smash. The next, the Alblair Stone's a bit bigger. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. We've got, well, we've got uh, in Blair Gowrie the Stone Championships, that's after Giants Live as well. Um, run by, well, our Blair Stones with Castle Water. So that'd be pretty cool to do. Looking to... No, just a wee bit of fun as well for yeah, yeah, we still want to win that, you know. It's, uh, had a good practice in Natural Stones out in Iceland. First boys ever to lift the big boy. So yeah, so that's pretty much what we've got coming up. Hope you enjoyed it. Ring that bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And stay tuned for up and coming videos, guys. Swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, comment. That's right, like, comment. Yeah. <laughs>